Today we're going to be talking about making your Apple Notes more visually pleasing and maybe moving from this to this. Let's have a look. In one of my recent videos, I described how I use Quick Notes. And one of the things that I do in Quick Notes is to add headers to make them visually interesting. Some people on that video were asking questions around how I create those headers. So in this video, I'm going to show you my process and I'm also going to show you how you can create dividers and other visually interesting elements that you can add to your notes. Let's have a look. So here we are inside of Apple Notes and as you can see this one is my daily log and it's a perfectly fine note. It's got everything I need, it's got my list of tasks, my events, um, list of expenses, quotes, birthdays, random thoughts. I mean there is space for everything that I may need and I can add more. But of course this note is fairly flat. If I add a header it becomes better like this. And if I add dividers, it becomes even more interesting, like this. And once I get the hang of creating uh, dividers, I can then, you know, be creative and um, even go for something like this, for example, where my dividers are bigger and in different styles. So I said on several occasions, when you work with something which is visually pleasing, it's like working in a very nice, new, shiny office, you become more productive. When you work with something which is flatter, like in this case this note, your productivity I think reduces. How do I come up with these headers and dividers? Well I use a website called canva.com which I find very useful. It's a free uh, website, you can go on and uh, register for that site and it's always going to be free unless you want to move to the premium edition which includes more icons, more graphics and more options which are really uh, suited for people that use the site very often or for teams. For me, the free version is absolutely fine. It's actually amazing how much stuff you can do with that. And I create all my thumbnails, for example, on Canva.com. So let me open Safari. Okay, so I am on uh, Canva.com. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a header like this one, this daily log header in my case. And to create this header, we go to Canva.com, which is this one. And then we create a new design up here create a design. Now you go down to this custom size option, click on it and you choose 1500 pixels in width by 500 pixels in height. This will create a nice header for Apple Notes. Create a new design and at this point Canva will give us a blank page that we can use to create our um, header. As you can see on the left side, Canva is giving me lots of potential suggestions on banners that I want to create. So if you want to use one of theirs, you can just click on it, like in this case, and then you can customize the text. You double click and you write whatever you want. In my case though, I want something fairly simple, so I'm going to create one from scratch. Let me undo this. So in my case, the first thing that I want to do is to create a background. I'm going to go here to background and I'm going to choose whether I want a solid color, like this one or maybe I could use a gradient, clicking here and going down to the bottom. I can pick a gradient like this, as you can see, from purple to cyan. I'm going to leave it like this for now, just to show you around. Uh, once I'm satisfied with my background, I'm going to text. Add a text box here at the top, and I can use the text box to type my text. Daily log. So that's what I wanted to create. Now, if I click on it and I drag, this is going to increase in size. And by the way, I'm pressing Option on my computer, so I'm basically making it bigger on every direction. If I don't press it, it's only going to grow in the direction I'm pulling. So by pressing Option, it's going to grow in every direction. And let's say I'm happy with this uh, dimension. I can then change the color. We're going to make it white. I can add some effects like a nice shadow, for example, or maybe an outline, um, or maybe a neon sign, which gives it this very nice glow. And then I can change the, the type of font. In my case, the font I used is a font called Bungie. This one. Or maybe I think I used the Bungie Shade last time. So, daily log. I could be satisfied with this already. I could change the text color, maybe I'm going to make it yellow, so it glows a bit more. Yeah, I think, I think white is probably, is probably okay. 
If I wanted to change the background, I could still go to background and maybe um, go down to something which is more pleasing. I think for the header you've seen on my notes, I've used this one potentially, or maybe, I don't know, this one. Uh, there is Italy, by the way, so that could suit me very well. Or maybe this flames. I mean, you can be very creative. The overall point is that you've created a banner which is 1500 pixels wide and 500 pixels uh, tall. If I'm satisfied with this version, but I want to experiment a bit more, what I can do, I can duplicate this page. It's going to give me an exact copy of this page, but I can change the background of this one. Maybe I'm going to make it, um, I don't know, green. Mm, I don't like this version too much. Maybe I'm going to try with this background, which is a starry background, which I like a bit more. I can give this page um, a title. So header um, with um, space background. And this one is um, header with flames. Okay, now let's say I've got two of these banners. I could have more. It's absolutely not a problem. Sometimes I create even 20 or 30 different variations, and that's absolutely fine. Once you're ready to download, um, you, do, you click on Share. You go down here to Download. And then you need to select the pages. By default, they're all selected, but if you end up like me with 20 or 30 variations, you may want to select just a few. In this case, I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna download them. Now it's gonna process the download. It's gonna take um, a few seconds. Okay, now this is done. So let me move this out of the way. And now on my daily log, let's pick this one that doesn't have a header. I can open my downloads folder. And let's say I want to drag in the header with flame. So I'm gonna drag it from here to the very top. And there you have it. Your daily log now has a banner. Now, the same thing you can do for your divider. So these dividers I've created exactly in the same way, except um, I've used a slightly different dimension. So this one will be 1500 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. So let me show you. So in this case, we need to create a new design because we're gonna change the dimensions. So I'm gonna click here, create a new design, custom size. So I'm going to create it at 1500 by 100 pixels tall. Create a new design. And now I have it. This is my first blank page. So what you need to do here is exactly the same as we did before. Uh, my suggestion is that you go to background, you pick a background, let's say this one. Then you go to text. And you can choose one of the texts that you know, uh, Canva is giving you as a suggestion. Some of them will be pro, so paid for. Or you can add a text box, which is what I normally do. In this text box, I'm going to say, let's say expenses. Let me make it bigger. I'm going to drag and keep my option key pressed. So this is now centered. I'm going to change the font. In this case, again, to uh, Bangi or Banji. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. It may be Banji. Um, I'm going to change the color to, let's say, white. I'm going to add some effects, maybe a nice shadow. I'm going to change the color of the shadow to black. And I'm going to increase the opacity to at least 80. So now I have a nice shadow um, cast by the letters. And um, what I can do here, I can potentially make the text slightly bigger clicking on the spacing icon and increasing the letter spacing. So it will expand the text. I think this one is probably okay. If I wanted, I could add an icon. To add an icon, I go here to elements and maybe search for something uh, which is related to money. This is expenses, money icon. I'm looking for graphics, so I'm going to click on see all here. And uh, Let's say that this one is something that I like. So I click and drag it to my design. And when I release, it's there. So I'm going to make it bigger. Maybe like this. 
And I'm going to change its color to white so that it integrates way better with, um, with my banner. So this is a divider. I can then add more pages and maybe change the uh, color. I'm going to create another one uh, for, uh, I don't know, quotes. So in order to replicate exactly what I have, um, what I have on this one, I can click Option and drag. This one is going to be duplicated. And when I release it, it's here. I can then double click and change it to maybe quotes. And if I wanted to add an element for quotes as well, I can go into elements and look at uh, maybe a speech bubble. And here in the graphics, I can pick one that it's not uh, pro. This one looks good to me, so I'm going to drag it in and make it slightly bigger. Here in the same position, so aligned with these um, uh, coins in the expenses banner. I'm going to make it here. And yeah, this one looks good to me. I can change the color of this thing, by the way. If I wanted, I could make it you know, uh, blue. And the outline is going to be white. There are lots of possibilities here in Canva. But you just have to experiment with it. There are probably lots of things you can do with the text. You can change the color of the text, maybe. And uh, make it, uh, I don't know, yellow. Uh, or you can change the font. I mean, whatever is suitable to you, whatever you like is the right thing. When you are ready with this and you've got maybe all the dividers that you need, you do exactly the same that we did before. You click on share, download, select the pages that you want to download. In my case, it's all of them. You click done and download. And once your download is complete, You can go into your um, note, which is at this point, it only has a header and you can drag in your newly created divider. Um, let's say I'm going to drag in, let's say I'm going to drag in this one for expenses. Going to put it here. In this case, I can remove the heading here because I don't need it anymore. There is an image now and uh, maybe I'm going to drag in the one for quotes and so on. So. Once you do it for, for a while and you have all the headers that sound right to you, I mean, I may have these ones, you may have more or less, you will end up with something like this. I've got my tasks, my events, expenses, quotes, birthdays, and in general, random thoughts. A parcel sent by a car is called shipment, but a parcel sent by ship is called cargo. I mean, quite random, but quite right. Now, in this case, I've used the same sort of layout, just different background color and uh, uh, text color. But of course, you can go all in and create completely different banners for everything you do. In this case, I've got an icon and this type of font. In this case, I've got a more colorful and intricate background. This one has got an icon. This one has got um, a handwritten font. This one is on two lines. I mean, you can really, you can really explore what Canva has to offer, which is a lot. My recommendation though is to try and keep it simple because otherwise you're gonna spend more time crafting your perfect dividers than actually using your notes and completing your tasks. So there you have it. This is the way to add headers and dividers to Apple Notes. I really love this visual interest that we've added to our notes. And if you come up with nice ideas, something that you want to share, please get in touch with me, show me your creations, and I can create a video in the next few weeks showing your work to everyone interested so we can all exchange ideas. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.